Hi, and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt, and today we're taking a look at a selection of new for 2020 wood shelled Black Panther snare drums from Mapex. It was at the NAMM show in 2020 when Mapex unveiled 14 new additions to their Black Panther range of snare drums, with eight wood and six metal shells newly available. Here we have the eight wooden shelled models, with the six metal shelled drums looked at in a separate video. All of these drums feature 45 degree Mapex Sonicleer bearing edges on the batter and 45 degree on the resonance side, as well as Mapex's cylinder drive snare mechanisms and 20 strand snare wires. Heads wise, all are furnished with Remo coated ambassadors on the batter and clear ambassadors on the snare side. In terms of the shells, each of the drums are different, although all but one feature maple either standalone or blended with other woods. Hoops wise, all but two feature Mapex's Sonic Saver hoops, with the Razor and Venom models being slightly different, having regular triple flanged hoops. Price wise, the drums range from £259 through to £379, and there's a full price and spec list on our website at www.drummersreview.com. Our first impression with these drums was that each drum looked classy and very well finished. We particularly liked the Pegasus and Hydro models, which featured brushed black hardware. That said, the gleaming chrome hardware of the rest of the models looked equally as impressive, and the finish of each shell is flawless across the range. Let's now listen to an example of the first snare before coming back for some more detail. The 13 by 7 inch Hydro model features a 5.1 mm 6 ply maple shell with 4 mm 4 ply walnut reinforcement rings top and bottom and is finished in flat black. This had great looks, great projection, warmth and resonance. It was also very sensitive which was quite surprising considering the depth of the shell. The Piano Black 14 by 5 inch Nucleus drum features a hybrid 8.1 mm 8 ply shell of walnut sandwiched between inner and outer plies of maple.
This drum has great projection and a wide dynamic range with clear, precise ghost notes and pleasingly full cross sticks. The Razor features a 14 by 5 inch 6mm 6 ply maple shell finished in dark grey. It has slightly more resonance and sustain than some of the other models, however some of this could be down to having triple flanged hoops rather than the Mapex Sonic Saver hoops. The 14 by 5.5 inch Venom model sports a 6.85 mm 8 ply maple shell finished in Arctic white. One of the two models to have the double-ended lugs, it has slightly more overtones than some of the other drums featured here. At the higher tuning, it sounded slightly boxy, although had plenty of volume when playing rim shots.
The Pegasus features a 14 by 5.5 inch, 6.15 millimeter, 7 ply hybrid maple and walnut shell in a maple burl finish. This drum sounds deeper than it looks and is warm and dynamic. Overall, we feel this could be a very versatile drum, complementing many different styles of music. The 14 by 6 inch Heritage model features a 5 mm 5 ply maple shell with 4 mm 4 ply walnut reinforcement rings top and bottom and sports a white strata wrap finish. It gives a very sensitive and focused sound with the re-rings darkening the tone, which alongside the white strata wrap gives a very definite vintage vibe. The Shadow model features a 14 by 6.5 inch, 6.85 mm, 7 ply hybrid birch walnut shell in a dark maple burl. This drum sprung to life pretty much immediately at the lower tuning with a dark tone, controlled volume, coupled with great attack. Rim clicks were particularly pleasing on this model, giving a fat, full sound.
Finally, the 14 by 7 inch Solidus model features a hefty 11 mm 11 ply maple shell in a red to black fade finish. It was the thickest of the shells, which meant it was really warm with a wide dynamic tuning range. Controlled and very sensitive for its depth, the main word that springs to mind is fat. Overall, we'd probably say that perhaps the Hydro was our favourite model due to the great projection and slightly unique voice. We did find that several of the models sounded very similar with only subtle nuances being picked up under the microphones. But all the drums were pleasing to play in their own way. Across the range, the build quality was superb, with each of the drums' various hardware components feeling top-notch. Special mention must go to the cylinder drive snare mechanism which allows the snare wires to be incrementally tensioned from both ends and felt smooth and silent in use. Musically, there's pretty much something here for most musical situations, although for heavier, more aggressive styles, you might prefer to check out the new metal shell models instead. We think that there will be something here that suits all tastes and musical styles. But why not tell us what you think? Leave us a comment as well as hitting subscribe and clicking on the bell icon to be notified of future content. And we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.